Welcome everybody to another episode of Gary Responds. I am about to read your comments. That's what I'm gonna do. Last one of the year, man. Good 2022 is crazy, right? A lot of moments, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of middles. Things to fakey, some grinds, some bullshit. We love it. It's a good time though. Let's read the comments. Non-brewed condiment. Damn. <laughs> Homie doing the Miami drop, making huge moves for the Visor Beanie community. They're partying in the mall food court right now. Yeah, beanies with the visors is a certain type of human. That is an entire, like I hate to like judge people and say that, but that is a group of people that wear the visor beanie. They do exist and they are at the Panda Express in your local food court right now, playing hacky sack and chilling, but they have a smile on their face. They're also thinking about fucking everybody up in that mall, just a little bit. Carlos Sanchez says, LMAO completely agree about PJ. Dude needs to clip up. He's been living off that part for literally 20 years. Hey man, if you had a wonderful, horrible life and the silence is golden under your belt, you would live off that shit too, gang, all right? <laughs> that motherfucker did damn near everything in them shits, all right? He created 20 years of people trying to get to that part again. Like literally, there's so many, that, that's what I'm saying. There's some people that set the tone so he probably lost a little inspiration of going for it because he came out, when people saw him drop, bro, like there's people that I know when those things came out in the early 2000s were like, this guy was the most bullshit thing we ever seen because what the fuck was that? So shout out to PJ Lab. But I do wish, since he seems like he still has it, would just like update us on how good he still is. That would be a nice refreshment. Kevin Alamo says, I sort of thought Man Ramp was gimmicky, which it is. But when he just ran and put like a two by four over himself for a dude to do a kickflip into a gap, then I realized he is really built different. No, he's actually built different. He was built as a ramp with wings, bro. This motherfucker was, <laughs> fucking, he really like stood up. Fucking like, um, and, and was holding people. Man Ramp is one of those dudes that, yes, like you said, gimmick, but there is something really, really special about that creativity that the Warbull and his whole friend group is offering. So I think that shit's dope as hell. Andres Forbes says, so glad Reynolds is on MB, such a fire team. You know, it's so weird. New Balance never really took off. They always had like a cool team. They got like Jamie Foy, Reynolds, like they got some people over there, but they never seem to really like, they kind of just stayed mellow. They never overdid it or doing too much. So I guess it's cool, but I mean, still at the same time, it's like you would wish that he did go with either hours or something like that. That's how I felt. I see another comment saying like him on hours would be sick. That would have been really good if they did take the, the skate shoe game on and built something super comfortable and everything he's actually looking for in his, but you know, you get to a certain time where maybe Reynolds is just like, you know what, fuck it. And that, that it, it's like, I talked to him about it and I'm like, man, <laughs> actually, I got the funniest fucking thing. I said, what happened to your front side flip on the skate line? I was, he sent me a video of him doing 20 straight front side flips, like all immaculate. I actually have that in my phone. So shout out Andrew Reynolds. I'm glad he's happy, but I really do wish he went on hours with Brian Herman because that would have been one of the sickest things in the world if they would have like came back on top. You wanna see that video, by the way? <laughs> fuck this account said Andrew Reynolds on hours would be sick as fuck. That was who said it, y'all. So now he's in there. I gotta get you out there because I seen you in them comments, man. Matt D says, I'll take whatever PJ is putting out. Me, me too, actually. Like, But then it gets to a thing where I'm watching that and it felt like he was actually gonna put out like a full piece and he just didn't cut it short. So usually I just deal with like whatever PJ Lad's doing because it's like one or two tricks, but I really hope that dude doesn't lose the battery in his back. You can see it, he has it. The nose one told you, he can still do his shit. KC Aylward, I think that's how you say your last name, says, I don't know what's crazier about the leap of faith at the end, um, the fact that he landed it or the fact that he did it like five or six times. Uh, that dude tried that shit for like three, four days, man. <laughs> did like at least 10 or 12 attempts each time. He's fucking nuts. That kid Jace is gonna be something of, hopefully you get your mega ollie out the way and then continue skating. <laughs> Cause that shit, you should go over to line 25 so you can, you can do it without a grab. Uh, fuck it, just go ahead. If you could take impact like that, man, you definitely got some special needs, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> shout out to you. CB George says, this, many, <laughs> this man really says self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. <laughs> if only it was a shorter way to say that. You guys, your boy is actually not dumb at all. I just had no fucking idea that that was scuba when we said it. Like I just said, the homie said, stay underwater. And I was like, that shit's funny as hell. And I read that and I was like, bro, that's the fucking initials for scuba. Like literally like an hour before we filmed this, I said that. So 
I had no idea. That just was so fucking funny. What memory says Gary is obnoxious? You're damn right I am, and I will be next year too. This wraps up another episode of Gary Responds, the last one of 2022. I want to wish everybody a happy new year, and you better have that new year's resolution ready, and you better do it. Two links all the way into next year. This shit will be forever, I think, unless it like gets like banned, and then it's not forever, because that happens too.